12.35 a.m. and I am in nowhere. Turkmenistan. Before I started to plan this trip, I didn't know anything about this country. Getting a visa took more than two months and I only got five days. Crossing the border from Iran into Turkmenistan took a while, cost more than expected and was quite chaotic. After a few hours I could finally leave the border point and make my way to the capital, Ashgabat. First I had to take a bus through an amazing landscape with wild horses. Then the bus stopped. I got my passport checked for the third time and had to change into a private car. After some bargaining we drove into Ashgabat. The city seemed so new and the streets so empty. Explaining that I wanted to go to a train station was a little bit more difficult than expected. At a certain point, I just I was just saying like, <laughs> so he, he knew where I went to go because he didn't understand train station and my Russian is shit. I, I, I can't speak Russian and my Turkmenistan is also pretty bad. So yeah, but that helped actually. The reason why I went to a train station is to buy a ticket for tonight because I'm leaving Ashgabat tonight already. So the reason why I'm not staying in Ashgabat is money. Accommodation is kind of expensive here and I can't afford really to stay a night here. So I will take a train to uh, the door to hell. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really called the door to hell or gate to hell. So I will sleep there probably for two nights because that's the cheapest accommodation. Uh, like I've been told, that's where you pay $10 a night. I really hope it's true because otherwise I w I'm like, I don't know where to stay because, yeah, I don't, I didn't bring enough dollars. That was stupid. My train leaves at 7.30 and I hope it's not too fast so it takes like several hours so I can actually sleep and then get off and then sleep just somewhere at the train station, I guess, and then walk to the door to hell and then sleep there in this kind of yurt tent kind of things. So today I woke up early I took like one, two, three, three buses, a car, then another bus, another car, and now I'm gonna take a train. Oh, I hope I can relax tomorrow. <laughs> Back at the train station I met a fellow traveler and some lovely locals. We had a chat and then I had to rush. The train leaves in one minute. Okay, this is not what I expected. Apparently there's like, like a seat I have. Doesn't matter, the seat number on my ticket. So the guy told me just to sit here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no idea what's going on. Just do that. But then a local woman showed up and she did a big effort getting me into my ride wagon at the other end of the train. There I was hanging out with a family. They offered me tea and all kinds of food and everybody was super friendly. And after a very short night, I left the train. It's 1.35 a.m. and I am in nowhere. Literally nowhere. Just try to find a place to sit or sleep. I'm homeless for one night. I don't know if this is the worst night. 